Hello and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action number 51. I'm Deborah Wursu. As I'm a person who likes both variety and continuity, this week's Thread Sketching in Action offering returns to nature, but this time I've loosely pre-painted the fabric to provide the background for my thistles. Are thistles flowers or weeds? I suppose they are both, depending on where you live. Growing as native plants, they are the floral emblem of Scotland, but here in Australia, our farmers consider them a weed and pest. They simply love the climate here and will take over entire fields and pastures if let run wild. Nevertheless, thistles in bloom have a certain charm and beauty of their own. I've taken a few artistic liberties with the colour and detail of my thistles, but I think the resulting composition is quite appealing and fits well with the other floral and nature pieces I've done over the course of this thread sketching series. As you can see, I began by free motion stitching the main elements of the stems and bulbous pods from which the petals emerge. I gave some thought to which areas of stitching would lie behind others and this determined the order of my stitching. I used a variety of thread colours for the petals, building up layers of different colours to create depth and shading, but never completely obscuring the vibrant colour of the fabric underneath. If you look at most flowers, the area of deepest colour is usually at the base of the petals, so this is where I've built up the darker thread colours. And of course, no thistle would be complete without a few sharp spines, so I've added these after completing the stitching of the petals. As this is a slightly larger thread sketch sample than some others I've done, there was a need to add stitching in the background, partly to add more detail and also to hold the fabric layers together. So I've used a mixture of stylized leaf and stalk patterns and free motion stitching to give the background interest, movement and stability. Even though the colours I've used are not entirely realistic, I love the bright vibrancy of this piece, and the combination of loose painting and thread sketch detail creates a cheerful picture. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your company again next week. Please visit my website at deborahwursu.com for more tips, tutorials, patterns and videos.